Hey guys, this is Wasteful Gamer back with another video for you guys. How to install LSPD FR. This is going to be the fastest tutorial you ever saw in your life. So, guys, be prepared. So, guys, all the links I will be talking about will be in the description. So, just go down in the description, click on the link, and you'll get it. So, let's start off the video, guys. So first things first, you're going to want to have a legit copy of Grand Theft Auto V. No crack versions of Grand Theft Auto. You want the legit copy that you buy from Steam or retail. So guys, this is the Steam path. Paths are very important. This is the Steam path if you want to find Grand Theft Auto. This is retail path if you want to find Grand Theft Auto if you bought it retail. And guys, make sure to make a copy of your Grand Theft Auto. So this is what I mean. So I have Steam, so I go to Steam, Steam apps, common. And you see I have a copy of Grand Theft Auto, which means I right click, copy, copy. Copy right here, and then I right click down here, paste. And it makes this copy. So if I ever want to go on Grand Theft Auto Online, I can do so. But this one right here will be what we're what we're using for story mode. So guys, we're gonna download these now. So LSPDFR. So you guys are gonna want to search up LSPDFR in your search bar whatever you guys are using i am using google once you get to this website you're going to want to go to downloads downloads once you have reached it here go to lspdfr right here click that and guys it's going to be download this file but before you do that i'm going to suggest turn off your Windows Defender or any antivirus software you have on your computer because it could contaminate that file. So I'm going to turn off my Windows, Windows virus, and this turn off. I'm just going to download this file. Agree and download, and we're going to download the manual. So we're just going to do this little verify caption here so now guys it is going to be downloading so next script hook v now that uh, well when this is done downloading we can turn our software back on let's just wait till it finishes downloading and guys for all you guys that are really scared about turning your antivirus off guys don't you worry it it's only going to be a couple minutes. I mean, I just showed you guys that you did not get a virus. I just did it myself. So why would I give myself a virus? Wouldn't make sense. So like I said, link's in the description. So just click on the link. Yes, it is done downloading. Drag it over the, this little square. Put it on your desktop. So now, guys, we're gonna put our antivirus uh, back on. Exit out of that. Now, we're gonna download script hook v. So, search in your script hook v. Link in the description. Download right here. Now, it's a very quick download. Then our next one will be Rage Plugin Hook, link in the description. So click on this, go to Downloads, and go to the latest one. Mine is 0 0.64, but yours can be 0 0.65, who knows. So guys, we can, we're also going to download a trainer. This will be in the description as well. We're going to download Simple Trainer. Because it is very simple, guys. Download, download. That is a very easy download. 
So now that we have all this downloaded, we're going to install in this order. We can cancel out of all that. And guys, we're going to use those paths I talk about. So program, this is my path for Steam. Could be different for you. But now you're going to double click on Grand Theft Auto. Go to, now you can bring this over, LSPDFR, manual install, double click. Highlight all of it. Control, click on license. You do not need that file. Drag over. Alright guys, we just installed LSPDFR. So now we're going to install the other necessary needs we have to download. So script hook V. Double click on that. Go to bin. Highlight all that. Control native trainer. We do not need native trainer because we are downloading simple trainer. So just replace the files in the destination. LSPDFR files may be old, so that's why we are installing these new files. So then download the Rage plugin. You can control SDK and control license. Drag over, guys. Replace the files in the destination. Guys, we just installed LSPDFR. We will install the trainer as well. So click on trainer. And then drag over the INI and the ASI. Guys, now that we installed LSPDFR, you'll see this file, Rage Plugin Hook. Right click, send to desktop or wherever you would like to download it at. So you can close out of that and drag it all over your desktop, wherever you want it. I usually rename it to LSPDFR. So now that you have done that, you can double click on Rage. You can read this if you would like. But then you can click Accept. It will load everything up. Make sure you guys do read this. It is just telling you if you would like to back it up. And you, you should back it up. It, if you ever want to revert your files or whatever, that's what it's for. So now, guys, I'm just going to carry on. So it's creating backup right now, guys. Which is very good. Very good. We have now finished installing LSPDFR. Now, once we're here, this is the console key. You can change that if you would like. For sure, guys, you want to disable the permanent ver version text or rendering. But make sure, guys, if you guys do upload a video or whatever, make sure to mention in your videos that it is a alpha software. And, guys, what I like using, go to plugins, but... Uh, I like to load these plugins on startup, so just click on that and click on that. If you don't click on LSPDFR response, it will not load properly. So just click on that. Save and launch. Just click OK. And guys, we are launching LSPDFR. Just yes. Guys, this will not happen to you because you guys do have Social Club installed. I just reinstalled Grand Theft Auto because because I, I just wanted to re reinstall LSPF PDFR. Sometimes it's nice to freshly reinstall LSPDFR. Because you know how many mods you put in the game? It's just crazy. But let, also, guys, let me know if you guys want me to post more tutorials, for example, how to put vehicles in your game, custom vehicles, custom sirens, custom, custom EUP, which means PEDS, and stuff like that. So guys, this always happens to me. I'm just gonna control alt delete task manager. Every time you first start up this, it will guarantee do this.
start in very small window. So you can just end your task and re start up rage. That's just like a little bug, I don't know guys. <sighs> Click on the little settings thing. So you can start up plugins, start up LSPDFR. Now save and launch. So it's gonna prepare to launch Grand Theft Auto. Every time you start up Rage, this will get quicker and quicker every time, guys. Don't you worry. And make sure, guys, if this tutorial has helped you out, make sure to leave a comment and like the video, guys. This is working 2019. The end of 2018 and 2019, guys, so... Just click that subscribe button if you want more tutorials. Tomorrow I'll, play. Tomorrow I'll be uploading how to install PEDS, so uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Now I'll just load up like normal GTA until you reach the screen. Just also remember to keep Rage Plugin Hook up to date. Get the latest version from the website we were just at. Guys, this is one of the quickest tutorials on YouTube on how to install LSPDFR. So, guys, this is not advanced. This is not hard. This is for beginners and people that just want to, like, forget how to install LSPDFR and want to install it. So, uh, just let this load. You see, it just loaded plugin LSPDFR first response. So once we get in game, it should be working properly. You guys, the the button to open your trainer. All right, so yep, it has successfully downloaded, guys. So guys, if you guys didn't enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, and uh, of course, stay tuned for more tutorials like this. Wasteful Gamer, out, peace.